Serving veterans and service members is our priority at VBA. Join us today as we talk about the VRAP program and toxic exposure presumptions with the Deputy Undersecretary for Policy and Oversight, Ronald Burke. Coming up on VA Benefits News. Welcome to our third episode of VA Benefits News. I'm your host, JP DiMartino, and each month we will be talking with senior leaders throughout VBA about benefits and services that directly impact our veterans and service members. Good afternoon, Mr. Burke, and thank you for being with us today and taking the time to discuss these important issues within VBA. Thank you for having me, happy to be here. And before we get into it, would you mind describing your role here? Sure. I was recently appointed uh, the Deputy Undersecretary for the Office of Policy and Oversight. One of the major responsibilities in my new role is to continue the integration across all of VBA's lines of business. And as part of that, continue the modernization efforts as we move to continuously improve the delivery of benefits uh, to our veterans. Can you tell us what VA is doing to help veterans who are unemployed due to the COVID-19 pandemic? So VA just recently implemented VRAP. Uh, it's a program that will allow eligible veterans to receive up to 12 months of tuition, fees, and housing allowance. We've partnered with hundreds of, uh, of training providers uh, that are targeting high demand occupations. And some of those occupations include mechanics, data scientists, computer coding, uh, barbers, uh, paralegals, and many, many more. That sounds like a holistic approach with a broad spectrum of career opportunities. So let's move to the other topic on the agenda. What is VA's approach in determining toxic exposure presumption? So this is, as you said, a very important matter for VA. Uh, and we've created a new modernized approach to the way that we tackle the issue of presumptive service connection. In adding conditions to the list of presumptives, the VA has created a new approach. It's a holistic, faster, more transparent approach. This new approach includes leveraging uh, all science available to VA, uh, includes the uh, increased utilization of claims data in our decision making, and also fosters a complete partnership with federal agencies, members of Congress, veteran service organizations, and other advocates. Can you let us know if VA grants service connection for disabilities that are a result of toxic exposure in service? Uh, the VA does uh, currently uh, have what's called a direct service connection path, meaning we would encourage veterans to file claims as we look at each of those on a case-by-case -case basis. We will look at every individual claim, uh, even though it's not a presumptive condition, we will look at these on a direct basis until such claim is added to the presumptive list of service connection. Very good, very good. And does that include Gulf War deployed veterans? It does. In fact, there are 2.5 million um, uh, deployed Gulf War veterans that would fit into the potential um, exposure to toxins. Uh, of that 2.5 million, 1.5 million of those have already filed claims. And of that 1.5 million, 94% of those claimants are receiving service connection for at least one condition. So can you tell us, does VBA work with any other entities in helping to determine presumptions? We do. The VA partners with the Department of Defense, the Veterans Health Administration, and the National Academy of Science, Engineering, and Medicine. And Mr. Burke, before we leave, are there any closing thoughts you'd like to leave with the audience? Certainly. I'd like to thank all of our veterans for their sacrifices, and I want to assure them that we work with a dedicated workforce that is fully committed to delivering benefits in a manner that honors their service. Well, I want to thank you for the time that you took with us today, and I'm sure it won't be too long before we're speaking again soon. Thank you. Thank you. Tune in next month for another episode of VA Benefits News. And remember to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel to stay up to date on the latest VA benefits information. If you're interested in seeing other videos about veterans benefits, click the link in the description. See you next time.